Hi, this is a quick three minute video on this. Hi, this is the third video in the series where we're looking at five popular questions for the higher tier papers. Um, this will be applicable to Edexcel, AQR, OCR, AQA, OCR, and also EDUCAS. Um, please do stop the video, have a go at each of these questions. In the previous video, we completed through to question number two. On this video, we're going to be looking at question number three. OK, so here we are at question number three. The diagram shows two right angle triangles. So as soon as we see this, we should be thinking about Pythagoras. And that could be something uh, Pythagoras. Pythagoras, Pythagoras um, or Sokatoa and both of those should be at the very forefront of our mind when we're looking at these sort of questions as soon as you see right angle triangles and indeed what we're being asked to do is to work out the value of side x which is going to be this side along here. Now in order to do that we're going to need to know the length BC, but very handily, BC is actually half of AC, which is the larger triangle. So therefore, we can use that to use Pythagoras theorem, which is A squared equals B squared plus C squared. Now, might, you might do it differently. You might work it as C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Whatever you do is perfectly fine, because hopefully we'll end up with a very similar answer to each other. So 38 squared plus 35 squared and when I work that out I'm going to get a squared equals 2669 if I then do the square root I'm going to get a equals 51.6623 now don't forget that's the length AC but I'm only interested in the length BC because that is for the smaller triangle and that's going to be 25.83118 dot 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 OK, and that's perfectly fine. And what we're going to do then is use this length of BC, which is 25.83, so on, so on, OK, as part of the equation for SOCATOA. So if I look at SOCATOA, OK, I'm being asked to work out X. Well, X is actually the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle. So I've actually got a choice of either the sine rule or the cosine rule. But I happen to know that uh, BC is the opposite. So therefore, I'm going to be using the sine rule. OK, and the way I would write that is going to be the sine of 43 degrees equals the opposite which is uh, 25.83118 dot 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 okay divided by the hypotenuse which is actually x which is what I'm looking for okay so I need to make the hypotenuse the subject of the formula so I'm going to have hypotenuse equals 25.83118 dot 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 divided by the sine of 43 and when I work that out I'm going to get that side x which we've now know is the hypotenuse is equal to 37.8757 and when I uh, write that to one decimal place as it asks in the question is going to be side x is going to equal to 37.9 centimeters and that would be the answer to that particular question. OK, hopefully that's been useful to you. Please do let me know in the comments if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video. OK, so I hope the video was useful. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you. Subscribe to the channel. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.